Hello, my friends. I hope everybody is doing well and uh, having another great week. Um, I got to say that uh, as much as I've been enjoying the services that we've been able to put up online and grateful for the technology, I am missing you guys and looking forward to having Sundays where we can uh, once again not only see each other, but but maybe even shake hands, possibly even even throw out a hug on occasion. It would be awesome. Um, I uh, I do hope that you're taking care. Uh, you know, we're we're uh, working hard and, and actually making some phone calls this week, uh, just checking in on everybody. And uh, we know our life groups do a great job of that already, but we just want to keep close tabs as we can and and uh, just uh, be the church that uh, that Jesus uh, makes us and wants us to be. So I uh, hope that you are doing well. I, I just have one thought for you that I thought I might share. I'm thinking about um, uh, the Gospel of John as we get ready to close it out this week. We're going to be in that last chapter. And... Uh, and it's really a fascinating thing, but but the piece that that really sticks out to me as we conclude this whole series we've been doing on signs is that that statement that John makes, you know, how he writes himself into the story um, and starts to refer to himself as the disciple that Jesus loved. Um, you know, I've always read that and kind of read it with a smile on my face because you know here's John, the last of the apostles. Everybody else is is dead. I mean, he's the last apostle standing, so he can he can kind of write himself into the story any way he wants to. And be like, yeah, by the way, I was the disciple that Jesus loved. Now, that's how I've kind of always taken it, a little tongue-in-cheek, a little bit of John having fun, honestly. And um, and the more I've been thinking at it, I think part of it was this, this realization that it's not until Jesus washes his disciples' feet, not until he gives them, this is my new command to love one another as I have loved you, and I've just demonstrated what that love looks like. And John, as he points out that, that this is Jesus demonstrating the fullness of his love for his disciples, that it's really started to make me think more about when John says that, of course, he's not really saying that just about himself. The biblical writers don't generally write something that only applies to themselves. It may be very true for them and about them, but there's a broader application. And, and there's a question that keeps jumping out in my mind, and I, I think it's the Holy Spirit just kind of asking, like, what would God have to do for you to start to think about yourself as the disciple that Jesus loved? I, I think that's what John puts it in there for. He's not saying, I'm that unique and that special. He's saying that this is what Jesus has done, and this is how much he loved me. That makes me the disciple that Jesus loved, because I get to see his love. I get to be transformed by it, and, and this is all that he's done. And it's a question that's been rattling around in my mind and my heart quite a bit the last week. Um, and I, I just throw it out for you as well, just to kind of get to process it. And as we go into this final chapter, John, on Sunday, there's so much depth to it about who, who Jesus is, of course, but also how, how he finally kind of leaves Peter and John and this picture of his love for them. And uh, I think it's incredibly cool. I'm really excited about it. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of depth to it. But I really think what, what's amazing about it is that however we get there, and I think for John it was a journey that he didn't start there. It's where he concludes after Jesus does all the things that Jesus does is that he begins to see himself as that disciple that Jesus loves. And that's for us too. It's the journey. We're on the path. And I hope that you're discovering every day a little bit more of just how great and how much God has done to demonstrate his love for you. You guys have a great day. See you later.